There's uh, Calypso Grant to go up. And they're away, and just a little bit slow there was Super Cal, you probably spotted, that's Blue's Queen on the outside. On the near side making the running is Well Warned. Well Warned, uh, the early leader from uh, Blue's Queen over on the far side, Bianca Nero right up there, CB's just in behind them. Then comes Sleepy Time, back in fifth at the moment, but on the outside of Sleepy Time, Dance Parade, and then Arethusa behind them. Uh, Titre is the back marker and well warned is just the leader on the rails from the sheepskin nose banded bianca nero on the near side then is blues queen then comes cb and then sleepy time just poised in behind uh, cb on the near side behind blues queen and making progress now is dance parade spot her with a white face but still well warned and michael hills the leader from bianca nero on the near side blues queen making quite a good run now it's dance parade as they come down towards the two furlong marker and it's well worn the leader from bianca nera then comes cb dance parade on the outside it doesn't look as though sleepy time will be winning anything she hasn't got much room but she doesn't look as though she's got a lot of gas there either it's well worn from dance parade and cb and now sleepy time has burst through here comes kieran fallon but surely can't get there now as they race into the closing stage taken it up and he's going to win him at the line. Dance Parade is the winner with CB second, third, well born and four sleepy time. Once again, she didn't get a clear run, but did she make a bit of her own trouble? She certainly did not make it easy for her partner whatsoever. The winner is number six, Dance Parade, owned by Prince Fahd Salman, trained by Paul Cole and ridden by Richard Quinn, his second victory in the Dubai Duty Free Fred Darling. He won it in 89. Second was number seven, CB, owned by Mr. George Solbridge, trained by Ian Balding. He's got a strong hand now and ridden by Frankie de Tory. And third was number 10, the longtime leader, Well Warned, owned by Mr. Khaled Abdullah, trained by Barry Hills and ridden by Michael Hills with fourth, number eight, the hot pot, Sleepy Time. So often on this round, seven furlongs, when there's no great pace, we've seen jockeys get into trouble, and Kieran Fallon certainly has here. Whether the filly was good enough to win is a moot point. Well warned, made the running. Michael Hills dictated it. Frankie de Tory there with the noseband uh, in pursuance. Also always prominent was Bianca Nera, but the man who's commandeered the race is Richard Quinn on the outside, Dance Parade. A steward's inquiry is being announced. It was Richard who held in Kieran Fallon, pushed him back in. He's come on the outside of the field here, and he's got plenty of time to pick up Well Worn. Well, um, it's one of the sort of races that didn't go for um, Kieran Fallon. He, he elected to settle the, the filly, and they didn't go much pace. And of course, he ran out of room. She's a big, long striding filly, and she wasn't allowed to use a stride when, she, when he, you know, he should have been. Uh, it, it would have been better for the filly to have been sort of jumped out and let her use her own stride. She, her brother who gets a mile and a furlong, and I'm sure this filly will stay a mile and a quarter. She ran on really well towards the finish to be beaten two and a half lengths, but I'm afraid the seven furlong and the, the good ground here wasn't enough for her.